Hey everyone, today I'm going to be going through a bunch of long video to short video format type AI tools. I'm going to be using the same video for each one so that you can see kind of what style you like better or which tool is best for you. I will only be using the free trial so you can see kind of what the output is. And uh, without further ado, let's get it, go ahead and get started. Okay, first up, we have Too Short AI. Now, this is the homepage. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in, and this is just gonna be like kind of first steps. I haven't used the tool, so we'll see exactly how easy it is to use. So I'm gonna sign in, and I'll be right back. All right, I've signed in here, and it looks like you can use just a YouTube video link. So I'm going to use a YouTube video from my channel. I'll show you which one. All right, so I'm gonna be using this video, creating content that converts. I'm going to copy the link here and I'm gonna put it in to the tool. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now it's looking for some shorts. So let's see what it comes up with. So I click generating shorts, it says it might take up to a minute. So let's see how it is. All right, these are the shorts that it came up with. So they are between 19 and 47 seconds long. Uh, let's, so right off the bat, compared to something like Opus Clip, you can't really see the shorts already. So that isn't great, but you do get um, the caption. So if, if it's your own video, then you kind of know um, what it is. Let's see. Let's do this one that's 19 seconds long. I personally prefer shorter videos, so let's see what it looks like. So I already don't like it. Um, it's not vertical video, and it's just showing me the section that should be a short. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, that this is probably not the tool that you're looking for, unless I am missing something, which I don't think I am. Let's look at this again. Okay, let's let's click on edit and export. Okay, let's do that. Hold on. Okay, so my bad. Um, I actually kind of like this workflow where it shows you the video that you, or the portion of the video that you should use. And then when you click on that one to edit it, it comes um, into this editing screen. So I take back what I said. I like it, I think it's cool. Um, so you can choose your subtitle styles. I like that. Uh, you can decide on your font settings, the position, how, often to split the subtitles. Okay, yeah, you know what? I think that it's actually pretty cool. Um, you, can't, it, you can't really work on more than one clip at a time, but I do like that the interface is very simple and um, it kind of gives you exactly what you need. So I'm not really gonna play with this too much. I'll just change the font here. Let's go Roboto and let's make the font color, I don't know, red, All right? So we're gonna deal, stick with that. Um, let's do this. Oh my gosh, it's not moving. Okay, so it's a little slow, but it's fine. Um, and then let's just put these back onto the bottom. All right, so, oh, you can enable word reveal, cool. And then you can decide to um, shorten and lengthen the clip. So, you know, I think it's cool. Let's go ahead and export and see if it asks me to pay for anything or what the deal is. So the thing here is it looks like you can't upload your own videos, which is totally fine if you, you know, already have YouTube videos and you kind of just want to, um, make them into shorts. I think that's, that's okay. Um, and I think that it probably helps with the pricing because, you know, they don't have to keep your videos stored, right? And everybody knows that storing data costs money. All right, so I'm going to pause here and come back and we can see what the exporting quality is. All right, this is what downloaded. Um, looks pretty good, 14.2 megabytes. Let's see what it looks like. All right, so the frame width is 1080, frame height 920. So, uh, and the bit rate is 6252 
kilobits per second. So it's fine. I mean, 25 frames per second is not great, but it's okay. I mean, especially because it's free. So um, yeah, I think that it's pretty decent. So this is kind of what the video looks like. It is a little bit grainy, but you know what? It's fine. It'll do, right? Especially on um, mobile, not really upset. The problem with this video though, in general, is that it has a bunch of these like little pop-ups. Um, so it doesn't really show well for this example, but I would say that the output is good. It was fast enough. It was easy enough to kind of edit it to your preference. So I'm going to go again ahead and give this one an A. All right, up next, we're talking about Get Munch. Let's just go ahead and get started. And okay, I'm going to sign up and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add a video. Um, oh, okay. So let's see. One second. Okay, so it looks like you can't even use it without upgrading to a plan. So their plans are $40 a month annually or $49 a month monthly. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one the lowest ranking because you can't even really use it for free. But um, they do have a publishing manager, it looks like, and you can add your own brand here. Um, and let's see the integration that they have. So you can connect to YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram, all the really important ones. Um, so yeah, that's basically all you can do with signing. So zero. Okay. Now let's talk about Opus Clip. Let's go ahead and sign in. Oh, actually let's go back because you can put a video link in here for free. So let's go ahead and try that. We're going to use the exact same video as before. Okay, so let's get some free clips here. All right, so it's processing and it does say that you need to add your email. Let's just continue. Okay, so you have to, you do have to sign up and add your email. So let's wait for it to process and then we'll, I'll show you what the results are. All right, so I signed in and it says your free trial has started. Um, you're upgraded to the seven day free trial, 90 minutes, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Okay, so it's asking a bunch of questions. Let's just say personal, let's just say other, and we'll just say Google search. Uh, yeah, okay, so, okay, so we went through all of that and I'm gonna pause and come back. So I just wanted to note here that I'm on the free trial and the waiting time is 16 minutes. So um, I wonder if you are on an actual paid plan, if you have a lower waiting time. All right, we are back. Um, this one says 99 out of 100 hook flow and engagement. So let's see what it looks like. Okay, so let's stop there. I think that it's like pretty, pretty good. Uh, I'm happy with this. Um, I like here that it shows you the clips instead of in the other one, Too Short AI, where you had to kind of like preview them and then edit them. You have the option to edit here. I do personally like this interface. Let's go ahead and look at the edit interface. Let's edit the clip. So you can, again, like the other one, you can trim or extend it. Um, you can edit the scene layout, which is pretty cool. And then here you can drag to reframe so I can like move it around. I do like it, honestly. I think that the interface is quite good. Um, and then there's a bunch of other design features here. So you can generate B-roll if you want to, and you can add emojis. So I like this interface. Honestly, it looks a lot cooler than the other one, um, but I still think that they're both kind of uh, the same. Okay, so I did find what I was looking for. Um, so under design, you also have the option to change your caption. It doesn't look like, oh yeah, you can change the font too if you want to. Make it a little less, um, you know, standard template. So what I do find with a lot of these AI shorts videos is that you can tell um, when somebody is just like using these because all of the fonts look the same. So like choose a font that kind of matches your brand, I think is important here. So let's go ahead and we'll save and complete and we'll 
um, download it. Then we'll see kind of what the quality looks like. So my only um, downside, I would say, is that it does take a little while for your videos to be ready. Um, I'm actually just going to skip the downloading part for now, and then I will come back maybe at the end of the video and kind of wrap it up. So I'm going to give Opus Clip an A. I think that it's pretty good. I'm not, I can't remember what you get for the free credits, but if on the free plan you can do one or two videos a month, then I think that it's a pretty good tool. Okay, next up we're doing Clip, Quip, Clip, Okay, clip. Okay. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and click get access. Now, again, this is the first time I'm ever using these. So you're seeing it the first time I'm seeing it. So let's get access. Oh my God. Uh, okay. So this doesn't like, it's just not a thing. Achy. So I'm going to give this one a zero because you can't use it if you're not already in. I guess. So yeah, we're done here. Now we're looking at video.ai. So this is the homepage. Let's drop the same YouTube link that we've been using. Okay, get free clips. Let's see if we have to sign up to get the clips. I already have an account. Okay, so I'm gonna just sign back in, hold on. All right, so it looks like you can um, generate better clips. You can do this credit saver where you can adjust the time for it to um, analyze. Um, you can say what it is. So let's say it's a speech. Um, let's say it's a single cam and number of speakers. Okay, so that's cool. Um, and then let's just go ahead and generate the clips. Nine minutes of credits will be used. I actually can't remember the last time I used this. I probably signed up for another video, uh, but let's generate the clips and see what they look like. All right, so we have seven clips. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. I do like the interface and I think it's fresh. So you get 75 minutes of video um, analysis on the free plan. Okay, so this one also gives you a score, which I like. Let's go ahead and click on this clip. That's the top one and see what it has to offer. So I like, honestly, I like that how this looks. Let's see if we can edit it. Yes, we can. So I do like the clips that it it came, or this particular clip. And I do like here, it's a little slow, but I like here that you can um, choose the layout. I think this adds a little bit more personality than something like Opus Clip or even the other one, Too Short AI. Um, I, actually, I actually like this one a lot better. Um, I like that you can make it a little bit more unique. So you have a lot of options here. You have the subtitles, the elements, the font. This layout honestly is the best. I might have to move the other two down to B and make this one A. Um, yeah, I think that this is actually really cute. This is like a really nice interface. You can add new text here. Um, oh, interesting. Ooh, let's try this. Hold on one second. Um, so this is cut magic. I don't think that it looks that great. I think it's probably better if you have a double camera, but uh, yeah, I'm going to say the, the cut magic is not awesome. And again, just not awesome for single, single camera. I think it looks pretty good for double camera in their, um, in their example. So let's go back. So it kind of messed up the, the video, but I don't care because I'm not using it, but I do like Honestly, I really do like their editor interface. I think it looks really good. Um, you can change a bunch of fonts again to make it match your brand, which you know I'm a really big proponent of. Um, it's easy to change the background effect. So I like this. Now I'm not gonna download these again. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about um, the, the interface and how it makes the clips and how you can edit the clips and kind of what you can get um, even on the free plan. I do like that you can preview it on a bunch of different platforms. So honestly, this one is coming in at number one for me for now. Um, I will download it and kind of look at the quality on my own, just like I did for Opus Clip, uh, but I'm gonna put this one ahead of the other two. So yeah, just in general, I think that it does pick out really good clips. Um, I'm going to say that I really, really like this platform.
All right, next we're gonna try sub magic. So let's go ahead and create a free video now. We'll see if they need us to sign in. They probably do. Okay, so sign up, I'll be right back. Okay, so here you have to upload a video, which I think is fine. I do like the option of either using a link or uploading a video, but let's go ahead and upload the same video that um, I already had on YouTube. Okay, so the first strike against this video is that there's an upload limit and you only have 90 seconds. Like if my video is already 90 seconds, I can edit those into clips if I want to. So honestly, I don't know. I'm gonna just like not use this because it's not useful for changing long videos into short videos. And I'm not gonna waste my time looking for a video that's 90 seconds or clipping this. So I'm gonna give this one a D. I'm sure it's fine, but I don't care enough to, to continue with it. Okay, so you do have the option to try a sample video. So I decided I would do that. So here you can change um, the style, which again, I do like. Um, and then you can trim it if you want to. And you can add B-roll, interesting. Let's see what kind of B-roll you can add. Oh, so you can just add like your own. Let's apply this, see what that looks like. Uh, okay. Honestly, it doesn't really have the same, like the, the interface is very simple and I do like that, but the fact that you can only upload 90 second videos, even on the free plan is pretty lame. Let's see, can you, and then on the pro plan, it's three minutes max. That's crazy. Okay. This is definitely a fail. So I'm going to say no to sub magic. All right, the last one that we are gonna try is Clap App, all right? So let's go ahead and use the same YouTube video that we've been using. One second. Okay, so now it's asking me what it wants me to do. So I'm gonna say edit shorts, uh, yeah, crop ad emojis. Okay, so that looks good. Max one minute is fine. Let's just choose auto and see kind of what it gives us. So let's generate and, oh, I don't want to do that. Hmm, let's see, is there like a free? Okay, I'm in free trial mode, yeah. Okay, so actually I'm back because I realized that I did try one free video here and I think that it's fine, but I feel like the captions are, are just okay and the clips are too long. So um, let's just go ahead and edit one of them. I look crazy, but whatever. Let's go ahead and edit so you can see the interface. So I still like the interface, but I think that there was obviously a reason that I didn't go forward. I like that they have their own like little styles here. And I do, let me just, I guess I don't look that crazy. I look crazy, but whatever. Um, yeah, so you can like edit the captions here, which I think is nice. Um, I think that the ability to to change the style is good too, but I still don't feel like it has as many um, options for layouts like video AI. And I don't think it's as simple as something like Opus Clip. Um, so I think that it's, it's okay. I would give it probably like a C. Um, so yeah, that's clap. So sorry about the beginning. Might edit it out, we'll see. Um, so yeah, I would say that it's pretty decent. And then let's just export, oh. So I'm dropping it down to a fail because you can't even export it if you're in a free trial. So like, don't even bother using it unless you're willing to pay for it. But if you do like the interface, then I think that uh, you can probably go ahead and pay, pay for, um, pay for the app. Okay. That is it for the video. If you use any of these clips in real life or there were any that I did not add, let me know and I will make another video about them. I'll go through them. Or if there's anything that I missed, just let me know. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, thanks. Bye.